So we are in the Chiricahuas. It's a national monument in southern Arizona. And we're in a hurry. We've got to get two hours from here to another campsite before the visitor's center closes at five o'clock. So yeah, we're kind of running down. I gotta watch where I'm going and I can't stop. I've been And we're coming down off of the Heart of Rocks Loop Trail. It's about seven miles round trip, uh, between 1,700 to 2,000 feet of elevation gain, and then lost on the way back out. It's an out and back. Well, it's called a loop because you do a loop through the actual Heart of Rocks, but it's an out and back uh, hike to get to that point. Uh, the hike itself, I thought it was mainly rocks. It's not. You start out alongside a stream, you're in the trees, there's pine trees in there. Uh, there's trees mixed up in with the rocks. Incredible views, nothing else like it that I've seen. I, I just can't, the video will speak for itself. Again, this is another one that people told us. It's like, check it out, check it out. Like, eh, okay, it's a bunch of rocks. It doesn't photograph nearly as well as the actual experience. The experience, it's incredible. We're already talking about coming back. Uh, Tina, you got pine trees, she sold. Uh, me, you got cool rocks and just everything else. It, it's great. So we'll be back. Last night we stayed at Bonita Campground. Can't remember how much that cost. You reserve it in advance on the website. Put a link to that in the description. The spots seem to run out pretty good. This is December and you would think the cold weather would keep people away. I think it's perfect as long as you get the cold weather night camping down, down to where it doesn't bother you. But um, go online, make a reservation. Don't normally like the group campsites, but uh, it worked out pretty good. It gave you enough space and privacy. Uh, sure, you got neighbors, but you also have heated bathrooms with flushing toilets and sinks. Nice thing to have. Not used to that when I go out. Paved road up to it, parking spot. You got a nice little area designated to set up your tent. You have a grill. It's kind of weird because you don't have fire pits there. They used to, so it showed it in the pictures we thought they did. You can make a fire in the actual grill. It's kind of weird, but that's what we did. Uh, I'd recommend maybe bringing your portable fire pit or something like that as a solution, or don't have a fire if you're cool with that. Picnic tables, 
they have trash receptacles right there. You have to store your food either in your car or they have food storage lockers at each of the campsites. You can put it in there, but there's lots of animals. Uh, we, <laughs> we smelled a lot of skunks, a lot of skunks up here. Haven't seen anything else yet, but uh, again, we're in a rush. Anyway, um, yet another in, in a long line of recent trips that we've done that wasn't expecting much and just absolutely loved it. So, Chiricahuas. We're gonna be back, check out some of the other trails, um, see if there's a backpacking route. I gotta do some more homework. This was kind of a test run and we'll go from there. If you haven't checked it out, put it on your list. It's really cool. Why are we running? I don't like to run.